going to take a look at this Omen laptop. We'll do an unboxing, I'll have a look at the hardware, uh, do a bit of testing, and I'll give you my thoughts on the pros and cons. So let's have a look in the box, see what you actually get. Let's turn this round. Okay, so get the usual sort of a quick start guide in there, not a lot else. And the laptop itself inside this plastic. So we'll take a further look at that in a second. Um, so there's nothing around here. This is just a panel uh, on the top. Nothing under there. At least I don't think there is. No. And then we've got the power brick and the kettle lead to go with it here. Um, so it's quite a chunky power brick. We'll uh, see how much that weighs. 200 watts and uh, you've got that kind of uh, power barrel connector there so it's not USB-C powered at all. Okay so let's remove the box and take a look at the laptop. Okay so we've got it out the plastic wrapper and let's open it up. Now we've got a little insert here to protect the screen um, but it's not protecting it from the keyboard so let's look at just the side here you can kind of see there is a there is a gap um, which is good for ventilation if uh, if you're running this kind of like headless uh, and just with a, a monitor attached to it it does let the air get down down there because it will get a bit warm that logo on the top is just a, uh, a sticker so it's not something that lights up but it's quite nice it's a nice logo there so let's open this up again now the um, the plastic uh, shell that this has got uh, stops here because it's uh, this is a metal um, enclosure. Uh, the rest of it's plastic. It does pick up some fingerprints, but it's not too bad. But the the surface here feels nice to type on uh, and rest your wrists on. With this being metal, so it's slightly cold to the touch when you first take it out, uh, and it's not powered on. But it soon kind of warms up as the whole PC warms, and underneath turn it over you'll get to see the two fans there so you've got one for the GPU and one for uh, the CPU and uh, there's kind of heat pipes running between those I'm going to take the cover off today um, but you'll be able to find the battery across there and that is replaceable uh, you can access the Wi-Fi card and replace that if you want to uh, and upgrade the memory and get into the four dim slots now in this configuration it's got eight gig of RAM uh, and that's on two sticks of four, um, but your configuration may vary. Uh, and this has got a Ryzen 7 4800H inside, um, but again, your configuration may vary because there's all sorts that you can have inside this. Now I've gone for the 1660 Ti graphics card, um, mainly because the 3050 uh, doesn't have a lot of RAM, so I went for the 1660 Ti. Uh, which has uh, six gigabytes of, of RAM on there. So that should be better for textures within games and maybe give it a bit, of, a bit more longevity. So looking at the top uh, right of the keyboard here, we've got the, uh, the power button here to turn it on and off. Now you can just tap it to turn it on right now, um, but if you're typing away when it's on and just happen to press it, that won't turn it off. You have to press and hold and then it will turn the unit off so you don't have to worry too much about hitting the wrong button when you're gaming or, or typing on it. Um, you've got a dedicated button here to go into the Omen Hub uh, where you can set the performance levels or do anything like that. And you can kind of see they've done away with the number pad so you've got a bit more room here. It feels comfortable to type on. Things are a bit more spaced out uh, and not cramped. Um, and you've got the directional keys here do have a single height enter key, uh, which may take a bit of getting used to if you're used to uh, the double height. Uh, but I've actually been typing on this no problems coming from a ThinkPad, which has the double height enter, and it's been absolutely fine. Do have the function keys across the top with your volume control, brightness, and so on. Now the screen brightness itself is 300 nits. Uh, your mileage may vary, and there's some good other videos on YouTube showing you how that brightness compares to other brands. So let's just go around the edges of the unit, have a look. So on the right hand side we've got USB-C 
We've got a mini display port. Uh, we've got an air vent and then two USB sockets on the end there. Uh, nothing else around there. And then around the back, just a load of vents. So a ton of venting from the inside there. And then on the left hand side, we've got the barrel connector for the power supply. We've got a network socket, another USB port, standard HDMI, your headphone jack, and a SD card reader. And around the front, there's nothing. Oh, and what we have kind of on what we have underneath here, uh, around the front, are some speaker grills. So you've got one on either, one on either side underneath there. Kind of see that it's got these uh, rubber feet running all the way along to kind of give you a bit of uh, distance off the desk. So that's a few millimeters high, uh, and really so that the air intakes don't get blocked completely by you resting it on a uh, on a surface. Um, so plenty of uh, grill space there to suck air through and then expel it out the uh, the sides here. The hinges seem well made, very solid see how we get on with those over the years. There's no indentation to grip onto when you're opening this or a clasp or anything like that. Just pull straight up and it opens easily. There's minimal screen wobble. So let's do that again. So minimal screen wobble after you've opened it, it really calms down quite quickly. Uh, and there's a bit of bend uh, and twisting in the plastic case, but nothing that would worry me. Got a webcam in the top here with a dual array mic. And then we've got a grill running across the top here for an air intake. As I mentioned, the speakers are on the sides at the front. I've got a fairly big trackpad here with clicks on those corners. And the whole thing, I mean, I'm pushing down here, that's not got much flex in it mainly due to the metal casing that they've used on this, this part of the body. It's nice that this is etched in, kind of looks good. I think one thing I would say is that the edge on this is on the sharp side. Uh, when I was using this on my lap the other day, um, when I was using the trackpad, it really does start to cut into your hand. Um, not that nice really. Uh, I think they could have done with uh, making that a little bit more curved. Um, because it's not that pleasant to work on. When you've got your palms up here, absolutely fine. Um, but if you're resting with the, uh, your hands near the trackpad, uh, that really does cut in. It's really fast to start, especially with the SSD that we've got in there. Hit the power button and that will boot up. Now we've got the lighting going on here. So you've got three sections of lighting. It's not individual keys or anything. You've got three zones uh, and you can set a color profile on really how you want that to work. Uh, and this one, I guess when it boots in, uh, should do the one I've selected, which is a kind of like a wave effect across that keyboard. Not particularly bright, but it's not too dim either. Okay, so we're booted into Windows. Uh, got a nice dog on there. This is going to be my daughter's laptop. Um, so she has set that as her backdrop. Now, if we press the Omen key up at the top here, that will start the Omen Gaming Hub. And awkwardly, it tells me it needs to update, even though I've updated this through the Windows Store. So I'm gonna to have to figure out how to get rid of that message. Uh, but once you're in here, you can go into the Omen 15 tab on the left, uh, and then it will give you some stats about the PC, like its utilization, temperature, and so on. So it doesn't let you set the fan speed, um, but you can control the performance of the PC by going into performance control, and then you select what mode you want it to work in. Now I've not got the power adapter attached at the moment, uh, and you can select performance if you really want to, and that will hit your battery quite hard when you're doing some gaming, uh, and you'll hear the fans really speed up uh, it, it does get quite noisy, uh, but you do get good frame rates.
So in 3D Mark, uh, running the Time Spy benchmark uh, on performance mode, so that's top performance, uh, we get a rating of 5,600. Um, and then if you have got it on like a default mode where you're battery saving, uh, you'll get about 1,700, which isn't too bad. Um, so I was looking at Minecraft is capped at 30 FPS when the power adapter isn't attached. Uh, and you haven't forced on performance mode, uh, and then you'll get around 70 to 80 FPS in Minecraft at fancy graphics. So pretty good scores coming out of the uh, 1660 Ti there. When it is at full whack in a game, then you're gonna hear the fans. So there's no getting away from it. It needs to dump that heat out. So you will hear the fans and they are quite loud. Uh, doesn't affect you too much if you've got your headset on, um, but it's worth bearing that in mind. Now, with this running, like you could be just running a web browser, having a look on YouTube, uh, the fans are quite quiet. I think there was a small whine coming out of this, this side. Uh, it only seemed to be this one that uh, was spun up at one point. Uh, I think the other one is particularly reserved for the graphics card over here. But when you're not gaming, the sound on this isn't too bad at all. So if we have a look in Light Studio, you're able to choose a bunch of different effects and you can pick whichever one you like the most. I've just chosen the wave effect, um, but you can cycle through and choose some different settings. Um, and you can even do it based on the audio coming out of games. Or you can do a breathing effect, color cycle, all sorts. So it is quite flexible, but like I say, it's only got three zones, so don't expect too much from it. One tip if you're thinking of buying one of these laptops, if you go to the HP website, hopefully there's a deal on that gives you a bit of saving off the list price. Um, but I would use the chat feature to talk to a sales rep. Uh, I did this and asked how many were in stock because uh, I was considering buying. And uh, they told me how many were available. Um, but then also without even really asking, they offered me a 4% discount and threw in a three year warranty worth £99. So I was really happy with that. And um, a few days later, I made that decision to purchase this for my daughter. Now also at the moment, we've got a free HyperX headset worth £120. So I'll be uh, claiming that in a few days. If you weren't gonna go through here and get any discount, then use a site like Top Cashback. Uh, that was listing uh, about 5% cashback for the Omen is pretty good. So overall so far I am pretty happy with this. I think the edge is slightly uncomfortable. I think if I was using that uh, all the time with the trackpad that really does cut into your hand. Um, but if you're using a mouse and the keyboard, keyboard's really nice to type on, really like that. Feels well built, good FPS from games. The 3D Mark score on here just crushes even my gaming PC uh, which is about five years old. Um, so really good result from that. Uh, so I, I couldn't really be a lot happier with it. Um, the price was pretty good in a chip shortage time. Um, I would have maybe thought about 3060, uh, but the price is really quite high for that at the moment. Um, but the components in here are pretty good. Um, that, that screen's nice. It's 300 nits, um, but I don't think you'll get that. Have a look around uh, on some of the other reviews for how much you're going to get out of there and how it compares to others. Um, but the screen's bright enough, I, I, I do like it. Um, and obviously we've got dual channel uh, memory there and a decent processor. And the 1660 Ti with six gigabyte of RAM uh, really does make a bit of a difference compared to a 3050. Uh, I intend to upgrade this to Windows 11. Uh, that's a free upgrade obviously um, in the future when that's available. But yeah, I really like the look of this thing. Uh, I feel like it's nice and compact for what it is. Um, it does look nice, feels solid, not too much give in the case, um, but like I say, it is plastic on the front and the back. But I'm really happy with it, good price, and it feels like it's a solid build. Now I'll update the description or one of the comments with my experience with this over the next few years. And let me know in the comments whether you're considering this or whether there's a, a good alternative. I was looking at the Legion as an alternative, but the finding it in stock was really difficult and finding any deal on it was also difficult. Um, so let me know what you find. I think the chip shortage should ease off 
uh, and these things will be easier to uh, get hold of. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful. See you next time.